Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie. Today I'm going to show you how I put together this adorable strawberry tear tray using supplies from the Dollar Tree, the Dollar Spot at Target, and Dollar General. So this is the tear tray we'll be decorating today. This is my two tear tray I keep in my kitchen. I, a lot of you guys have asked where I got this one. I got this one I think at Marshall's in the kitchen section a few years ago. It's been through a lot but I love it. And so one thing that I like to do is to take it up a notch is to put some ribbon on the outside of my tiers. That way you can coordinate it to whatever you are decorating your tear tray to look like. And today I'm doing strawberries. So I thought this red and white gingham ribbon from Dollar Tree would be perfect. So I just simply cut it to size and just attach it to my tear tray with a dot of hot glue. And then if you pull it tight enough around, you can just do another hot um, dot of hot glue to glue it to itself and you don't have to worry about messing up your tear tray too much. But it's gonna give just another little decorating touch to your tear tray. So I wanted something fun for summer for my kitchen. So I've never done a strawberry one before, so I thought that'd be perfect. I've done watermelon and lemon in my previous videos and um, I wanted to do strawberries today. So I was able to find a few strawberry things um, from those three different stores. And so I think it comes together really well. I can't wait to show you how I put all of this together. So I got the top one with the ribbon and the bottom with, with the ribbon. This tear tray is kind of large. I was trying to get it all in shot there, but this is in my kitchen and it's ready to go. Okay, our first DIY, I wanted to make a jar of strawberry jam. And so I'm gonna use this galvanized metal jar from the Dollar Tree. And I thought we could decorate this. I'm just gonna go ahead and tape off the lid with some painter's tape. And I'm just using some red acrylic paint. This is called Candy Apple. Just something bright red that would remind me of strawberry jam. And then I'm gonna attempt to paint this. Um, I've noticed that when you paint the galvanized metal from Dollar Tree, you're gonna get a lot of that galvanized metal coming back through, um, especially with acrylic paint. So it's just gonna require a couple coats to get some good red coverage going on this. So I do a thin coat like that and give it a quick dry with my heat gun and then I'll go over it again. And I thought we could just decorate this to look like a jar of jam. So fun. And I am currently on vacation. I'm leaving today for a family trip um, to Missouri. And so I wanted to go ahead and get this video out to you guys so you guys would have something to watch while I'm gone. So I got that all painted. It's okay if a little bit of the metal comes through. It kind of gives it a little bit of a distressed look. Unfortunately, my painter's tape, I had a little bit of bleeding here on my wood and that bright red was not gonna come off the wood. And so I was like, all right, yeah, you know, I have a coastal farmhouse, everything's distressed, right? I'll just distress the wood stand with some red and make it look intentional, right? Okay. So we got that painted and then I wanted a label. So I created this little strawberry jam label on Canva and I will share a link below to this if you want to make this yourself and you can just print it and cut out the label. I'm gonna attach it to the galvanized metal jar with um, some Mod Podge. I'm actually gonna use glossy Mod Podge today. I usually use matte but I kind of want the label to look a little bit shiny and I kind of want the jar to look kind of shiny like glass would look. And so I'm just gonna use that to attach it. Um, I probably used a little bit too much Mod Podge with the label because I did have a little bit of bubbling on my label, but you know with Mod Podge that might go away like in a day. 
it might be gone now. I'll have to check it. And um, I'm just going to glue that on there and get it as dry as I can. And then I'm going to go over the whole jar with more of that glossy Mod Podge from Dollar Tree. I like to buy those little bottles from Dollar Tree. It's such a good deal. And you don't have to worry about it getting all dried out and gunky because you'll use it fast enough. And so I'm just going to speed that up a little bit with my heat gun. And we have some strawberry jam. I wanted to do this for my top tier. I think it's going to be tall. It's going to provide some height. And um, so I'm going to kind of put this on the back. Now for the lid, I thought it would be cute. I didn't really have any red and white gingham fabric. So I decided to use, I had a little scrap piece of burlap. And kind of, I kind of want to make the look like there's burlap on the top of the jar and that it's like tied around the lid. So I'm just cutting out a piece a little bit bigger than the lid. So I'll have a little bit of extra fabric there so that I can tie that off. And I'm just going to attach that to the galvanized metal with a little bit of hot glue. With hot glue, you can kind of see that through the burlap. So you could always use Mod Podge for this as well. It might dry a little bit better. And the metal shines through would be perfect, the metal lid for the jar. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on and then take some twine from the Dollar Tree and just try to wrap that around there and tie it off a few times to kind of make it look like the burlap is tied around the jar. I would like to take a moment to thank you for watching my video. I pre appreciate each one of you guys so much. And don't forget, when you're done watching, to comment your favorite DIY or find below. Or just come say hello. I love reading all of your comments. And don't forget to like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We are on our way to 9,000 subscribers. So super exciting. We're going to be at 10,000 before you know it. So once I get it tied off, I'm going to trim it closer to the top of the lid so it looks like it's kind of wrapped tightly around there. Then I just wanted a little bit more texture. And so I'm going to take some of that red and white gingham that we used on the tiers for my tear tray and just cut a piece to go around it as well just to provide a little bit more um, texture to the sign and give it a little bit of a red and white vibe. I think it turned out really cute. Here's our little strawberry jam for a tear tray. I love these little galvanized pieces from Dollar Tree on the stands. They're so easy to DIY. So we're just going to put here, here in the back. I have this kind of in a corner, a counter in my kitchen, um, right where I can see it. Now this was the inspiration piece for the whole thing. Check this out. I got this at Dollar General for $5 and it's perfect. It's a little strawberry patch truck. It's the red and white gingham. It's the strawberries. It's the wood. I don't have to do anything to this one. It's ready to go. I'm going to give it the star of the show right here on top in front of my tear tray. And I absolutely love that piece. I hope you can find it if you're making a strawberry tear tray. Now this is a plant from Target. They normally have these for $5, but you can watch them, they'll go on sale for like $3.75. And I previously um, put some Dollar Tree burlap ribbon around there just to kind of decorate the white pot a little bit. And I thought I would also add some of that red and white gingham ribbon from Dollar Tree, just to bring in some red and white to that as well. Just attaching it to the back with a little bit of hot glue like I had glued on the burlap ribbon. And I thought this could kind of look a little bit like a strawberry plant. It's a nice large one. I can put this on top. And strawberry plants have little white flowers. And I have these little white flowers from a previous DIY. I got these at Dollar Tree and that's why they're already cut apart. But they don't have the yellow centers like um, a strawberry flower would, but I thought it was gonna give me kind of the same effect, the little white flowers, kind of make it look like a cute little strawberry plant for our tear tray. And I thought this would be perfect for the top as well. It's nice and tall. I can kind of add this to the back as well, like I did my strawberry jam jar. And 
it. I think that looks really cute combined with that little strawberry patch truck. We have a big strawberry plant. Now we only have a little bit of space left on the top tier. And I have this wood bead uh, garland from Dollar Tree. It's left over from Valentine's Day. I love these so I picked up a few extras because I thought if I turned the heart around, I could make it into a strawberry, right? So I have some of this uh, boxwood tile from the Target Dollar Spot that I had previously used for something else. So I kind of, a crafter likes to save her scraps, right? I kind of saved it and I'm glad because I'm just gonna cut some of the larger leaves off this. You can use whatever you've got. I just need some leaves to kind of make the little heart look like a strawberry. And I think that turned out really cute and it was so easy. I'm so glad I got a few extra of these. I think they're so cute. And the red and white beads will be perfect as well. And this will fill up the final space I have there on my top tier for my new kitchen tear tray. So I'm just cutting those off um, kind of two at a time and kind of gluing those together because we want to make that look like a strawberry top. I think that looks really cute. Then to take it up a notch and to make it look just a little bit more like a strawberry, I'm going to use just a yellow paint pen and I'm just going to dot, dot, dot like some strawberry seeds all over it. And I think that was the perfect touch. We have a very easy little strawberry wood bead garland for our tear tray. I think it's so sweet. What do you think? So let's go ahead and add that to our tear tray. And this is going to finish off the top tier for our tear tray today. And we can move to the bottom. I love that. That's one of my favorite pieces for sure. Kind of get it on there just perfect. Now I would like to take the opportunity to tell you about our private Facebook group. I'll post a link below. It's called Crafty Beach. And you are going to be blown away by all the Crafty Beach Mums and all your creativity. You guys rock. I love sharing. You guys sharing what you made. I love seeing it. Also, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest at Crafty Beach on YouTube, and I would love to see you over on any of those socials as well. Okay, my next find was from the Target Dollar Spot for $3. I got this adorable strawberry coffee mug. I think it's so cute, and I thought it would be perfect for a kitchen strawberry tear tray. Now, I kind of want to fill it with a plant, so I got one of these little plants from the Dollar Tree. It's a little taller than it's going to fit on my um, bottom tier, so I'm just going to give it a little haircut and make it a little bit shorter. Again, this isn't like, you know, exactly like a strawberry plant, but it's going to give you that feel of it for sure. And I'm just going to sit the whole thing in there. It fits perfectly. And then I thought I would decorate this one as well with some of those little white flowers from Dollar Tree. And just kind of scatter these all around. I think they call these baby's breath, even though that's not really what they are. But I think, I can't remember, the little white flowers from Dollar Tree. And there we go. Easy peasy. We have a little mug full of a strawberry plant. And that's going to be our first piece here on the bottom of our tear tray. I love that mug. It is adorable. Okay, my next find is this little blender travel case. I got this in the makeup department at Dollar Tree. You're never going to know where you're going to find stuff. But I was on a strawberry mission. And I think it's perfect. Um, it's a little case for a blender sponge, which I will probably use it for when I'm done with this tear tray because it's so cute. But I think it looks like glass. And so I think this is ready to go. I'm just going to kind of pop that on there. It's going to give me the look of a little glass strawberry for my strawberry tear tray. And I think it's perfect as is. Now I got one of these little buckets. They come in a three pack from the Dollar Tree, the little tin buckets. And I thought we could make a little bucket of strawberries. Um, I found this in the toy department at Dollar Tree. It's a little slicing food kit that had a sliced strawberry in there. Um, that's pretty much the only kind of strawberry I could find at Dollar Tree. So we're gonna go with it. Um, you could put the two together. It has Velcro, but I kind of want it to look like multiple strawberries. And so I'm going to take some more of that boxwood scraps that I have and just fill up my little metal bucket with that to kind of make it look like a plant. 
and then I put my strawberries in there. The only problem I had is that my strawberries were a little large, my bucket was a little small, so they didn't want to stay in there too well, but I took care of that. I just um, went ahead and hot glued it a little bit, otherwise they were going to be falling out all the time just like that. So I just put some hot glue on the tips and put it down in there and it's going to give me the look of a little tiny bucket of strawberries, which I thought was really cute. If you have like a little bigger bucket or maybe even a crate, you could kind of do the same kind of effect. And I'm just going to add a little bit more of boxwood here and there to kind of fill it out a little bit. And I thought this would be a really sweet piece for a tear tray. I love these little metal buckets. I'm going to have to find more because this is the last one that I have from the Dollar Tree. And I love using them, especially for tear trays. I used one for my camping tear tray that I made recently and filled it with firewood. So cute. There's our little bucket of strawberries and it's ready to go here. I'm going to put it right here on the bottom shelf of our tear tray and... We are rocking this tear tray. This tear tray was very easy to put together and it turned out so cute. You just gotta have a few crucial finds. This is another one of those plants from Target. They're normally $5 and I think I got this one on sale for $3. Um, and I'm gonna do the same thing that I had done previously on that other Target plant. I'm just gonna kind of break up that plain white plastic pot um, with some burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. They always come out with this burlap ribbon for fall, so I'm hoping they come out with this again this year because I'm starting to run a little low on that, but I love using that for coastal DIYs especially. And then I'm gonna give it the same effect that we did that little boxwood plant. I'm gonna use some more red and white gingham ribbon from Dollar Tree and just kind of give it the same effect. These white flowers, some of them have yellow centers, and so they really kind of look like the flowers off of a strawberry plant. Even though they don't have any greenery, I thought they were still going to give me that strawberry plant vibe that we're going for. And it's the perfect height here for the bottom of the tear tray. So I'm going to kind of have this one be back here on the left side, kind of peeking out over everything else. Okay, the next find, this is from Dollar Tree and with like their spring and summer, I guess lawn stuff is where I found them. They had these in pastel colors, these little ceramic gnomes, and I thought I could make him special. I'm doing a lot of red, white, and green today. So I thought I would use my red paint pen and paint his little gnome nose and make it look like a strawberry. So that's my plan. If you had one with a red hat, which might have Christmas trees on it. I know they have those at Christmas. Um, you could kind of make that look like a strawberry as well. But I'm just carefully trying to paint his nose red without getting it on everything else. But that ceramic's pretty glossy, so if you do, it's easy to um, get it off of there. And then I thought I would give him a little strawberry flower decoration on his little green hat. So one of those little white flowers from the Dollar Tree I took one apart. It has like two pieces to the flower and I'm just gonna hot glue those to his hat one on top of each other. And since it's one little flower like that, I can make the center yellow to kind of make it look like a real strawberry flower. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in there with my yellow paint pen and just paint the center yellow. So cute. Now I really wanted his nose to look like a little tiny strawberry. I thought that would be really funny. So I'm gonna make sure that I get that red paint on his nose dry. And then I'm gonna go in with that yellow paint pen and give it little strawberry seeds like I did on that little heart earlier. And he is so simply strawberry that it's just adorable to me. I think he turned out so cute and it was so easy to put this little guy together. There's my little strawberry gnome. I'm gonna put him over here on the left side in front of the strawberry flowers. And I think he coordinates well with that mug, with the green on the mug as well. Now I'm gonna use one of these little Dollar Tree signs to DIY a little farm strawberry sign is my plan. So I need to cover up all of that writing that's on the top panel of the sign. I love the wood part. So to do that, I'm just gonna use some ivory chalk paint 
it is going to take a couple of coats of chalk paint so that you can't read that anymore. So that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm doing a lot of red, white, and green today. Not really ivory, but I didn't have any white chalk paint and I didn't really want to mix any. And so first two coats of ivory and then I'm just going to switch it up on my top coat. So I have white acrylic. So once I get that on there and dry, I just go over it with white acrylic and we have a white sign. And we have a perfect blank to make some kind of a strawberry sign. I like these little signs from the Dollar Tree. They're great tall height for a tear tray that you'll be able to see them. And they're so fun to DIY. Now I'm gonna use a black and a red paint pen and these are from Target. I just turned around the tips to make it very fine. And I'm going to give my best attempt at a Ray Dunn skinny font. Not perfect, but not too bad. And I'm going to do Farm Fresh. And I thought I would do Fresh, mix it up, and do like a cursive font. And if you want this to be perfect, break out your Cricut. But I wanted it to look like an old farm, strawberry farm sign. So it's okay that mine's a little bit not perfect. <laughs> I think it turned out really cute. And then I'm going to go around all the edges and kind of just do like a red border to bring in a little bit of red to our little farm fresh strawberry sign. And then once I get it all on there, I thought I would add a little strawberry. So I found this little phone grip. This was a Dollar Tree in the electronics department. They had, you'll see my previous um, sweet summer video. I have a, um, what do I have? A watermelon and a lemon maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I had a few other ones. But this is the strawberry one and you can just kind of pull it off. I kind of wanted to stress my sign a little bit before I put it on there though. So I'm just sanding that um, to kind of make it look a little bit weathered. And then we're going to put our little strawberry on there from our little strawberry. I guess those are like you put them on the back of your phone to hold your phone. but I thought they were pretty and there's not a lot of strawberry options at Dollar Tree. So we're going to go with this one. I'm going to attach it to the front of our sign with a little bit of hot glue, leaving a little bit of room between it and the letters because I wanted to decorate the sign a little bit as well. So I'm going to use some more of that scrap boxwood that I had laying around and just start cutting off some leaves to do um, a top to my strawberry. The strawberry is kind of round for a strawberry, but we're going to make it work. And so I'm going to just attach us with a little bit of hot glue to bring in a little bit more 3D texture to our little sign. And I think it's turning out super cute. So I'm going to add a little bit more greenery here. Then I still had some white space like around the sides. So I was thinking maybe I should bring in a little bit more greenery for our little strawberry patch. So I'm just cutting out a few more pieces of that boxwood and gluing that to my sign. Then I thought it was just asking for like a strawberry flower. So I have some more of those little flowers from the Dollar Tree. And I thought I would glue those on there kind of like I did with a little gnome. And then I can use my yellow paint pen to paint the center yellow. We have a little strawberry flower right in front. And I think this sign turned out really cute. I think it's just so sweet. Little farm fresh strawberry sign. And I mean, it's kind of taller, so I'm going to kind of put this over here on this side. You're not going to be able to see it, but for my kitchen, you can kind of see it. It peeks out from the side, especially when you're standing over on that side of my tear tray. And then I needed one more piece for the back, and I thought this green leaf dish from Dollar Tree would be perfect. Bring it a little green. You're not going to be able to see it too much, but it's going to fill in the back of my tear tray. And one of my friends 3D printed this little stand for a use on a tear tray, but you can use whatever you've got to try to make it stand up on its side. So we're just going to slide that in the back, and we have the bottom of our tear tray pretty full. I would like a little bit of filler to go in there and um, fill in any of the empty places. And so I have all this extra boxwood. So 
I didn't know I would be using this tile for this purpose, but it works out perfectly. So I'm just gonna pull off a bunch of boxwood sprigs and I'm gonna use that for filler on my tear tray to fill it all in and make my tear tray look nice and full. So I'm gonna use almost all of it here on the bottom. There's a lot of little um, empty places that will look cute with a little bit more greenery. And I just love this tear tray. I can't stop looking at it. I think it turned out so cute. And it was actually pretty easy to keep together. Um, my last video that I just posted um, is my luau party video and it is lots of fun. There was some kind of a glitch when I uploaded it and so I'm not getting a lot of views on it because at first people were not able to get it to stream for some reason. So if you haven't seen it, go back and check out that video as well. And we are ready for our final reveal, but first I wanted to thank the these Crafty Beach Bums for sending me super thanks on my videos. I appreciate each and every one of you guys so much. Super thanks is a way that underneath my video, there's a little thanks button where you can tip your favorite creator as little as $2 to show your appreciation. And it really helps buy me all these supplies from the Dollar Tree. So thank you so much. And now the final reveal. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you. You're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing but with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Cause I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby Myself, and I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well I will always be by your side Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you Making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby